Understanding Geothermal Energy in the Caribbean The Earth is filled with lots of energy. If you've seen the boiling lake in Dominica or visited the sulfur springs in St. Lucia, then you would have seen geothermal energy at work. Geothermal energy comes from heat produced deep beneath the surface of the Earth in what is known as the Earth's mantle and crust. This heat or thermal energy usually rises slowly to the Earth's surface, becoming more accessible in some areas, particularly along major plate boundaries where most volcanoes and earthquakes occur. Beneath most volcanic islands in the Eastern Caribbean, thermal energy heats the surrounding rocks. Rainwater or seawater drains into the pores and cracks of the hot rock. The water becomes superheated and rises through spaces in the rock. The heated water or steam can escape to the surface at geysers or hot springs. The hot fluid can also be stored deep within the Earth's crust. By drilling geothermal wells in places where this hot fluid collects naturally, we can harness this geothermal energy to produce electricity. The Eastern Caribbean has 21 live volcanoes, making it an ideal region for harnessing geothermal energy. Using this renewable energy source on these islands can help to reduce their dependence on imported fossil fuels. Guadeloupe was the first island in the Eastern Caribbean to harness geothermal energy. St. Vincent and the Grenadines and other islands like Montserrat and Dominica are in the exploration phase and are moving closer to developing power plants. We look forward to a clear future for geothermal energy in the Caribbean.